One of the internet news stories that's caught my eye this week is Google's submission of a document indicating that it's working on a new system for taking micropayments online based on its existing Google Checkout technology. With the current credit card based payment systems, there's an administration charge on each transaction, so the merchant would probably actually lose some money if they charged your card just a tiny amount, like five cents, because they pay more than that to the card company to process the transaction for them. And this is why some stores won't let you pay by credit card if the transaction is below a certain minimum amount. The Google micropayment system would change all that. It would make it practical to charge tiny amounts. And this may sound fairly insignificant, but it could potentially change the face of the internet over the next couple of years. The reason for that is that currently a large amount of the content on the internet is paid for by advertising. Companies providing web content, rather than actually selling products or services, obviously need to cover their costs and ideally make a fair profit. Some online content providers, including various newspapers and magazines, offer premium content for a monthly subscription. The trouble with this though is that subscriptions are usually quite expensive, which means only people who will be heavily using the service, people who will be reading almost every premium article published by that newspaper or magazine for example, are likely to subscribe. So if you're interested in a number of different newspapers and a couple of different magazines, you're probably going to have to pick just one or two to subscribe to because subscribing to half a dozen is likely to be extremely expensive. Because subscriber numbers are kept very low by the all or nothing payment structure, a lot of the content providers are really struggling to make money. And what Google's new system would do is allow people to pay as they go, paying just a small amount for each premium article they read, maybe just a couple of cents for each one. This would enable consumers to read premium articles from dozens of websites rather than just having to make a major financial commitment to each one through a subscription. It would also benefit the content providers because the removal of having to commit to a large subscription fee to access the content could dramatically increase the number of viewers they actually get. It would essentially be content on demand which is starting to become popular in TV. Rather than subscribing to a whole channel just to watch maybe one or two programs or movies, you pay just for the programs or movies you actually want to watch. So it wouldn't cost a huge amount even if you wanted programs or movies from several different channels. It would essentially be content on demand, which is something that's starting to become popular in television. Rather than subscribing to a whole TV channel just to view maybe one or two programs or movies every month, you pay just for the programs or movies you want to watch. So it wouldn't cost you a huge amount, even if you wanted to watch programs and movies from several different channels, whereas at the moment you'd actually have to subscribe to each channel you wanted to watch even just one thing from. And the same sort of thing would apply to web pages. Rather than pay for access to all of the premium content offered by a particular magazine or newspaper website, you'd just pay for the articles you actually wanted to read. Another change it could lead to is more choice about viewing advertising on the web. At present, advertising is the main source of income for most of the content providers. Subscribing to a website will often give you an advert-free experience, but I doubt any of us could afford to pay a subscription to every site we visit. And even if we could, we probably wouldn't want to pay a subscription to a website we maybe only spend 20 minutes on a month, for example. With micropayments, though, sites could offer the option to remove adverts for a short time, say for a couple of hours, for a payment of a few cents. This is something that could potentially work on SearchWalk, for example. Another possibility that may or may not work on SearchWalk would be adopting the teaser tactic that a lot of online newspapers and magazines use, where you get to read half an article for free, but you can only read the rest if you subscribe. Although, of course, with micropayments, you wouldn't have to subscribe. You would just click here to pay five cents and read the full article, for example. A portion of this revenue could then maybe be shared with the writer. This kind of system could give authors a good incentive to produce well-written, interesting articles and would also deter spammers. If the first half of the article was boring and commercial, no one would read the rest of it. And SearchWalk could make sure that commercial links were only allowed in the full version. Then, if the first half of the article didn't catch the interest of readers, the links would never be seen, let alone followed. Of course, some authors might prefer their articles to continue being available in full for free, which would still work fine. Readers would still benefit from being able to pay a small amount to have ads removed while well, they're reading the article if they wanted to, or they could leave the adverts there. I think micropayments are likely to be a big part of the future of the World Wide Web, and overall I think this is a good thing. It gives us more choice. Access to everything, but only paying for what we actually want. It could also give us the ability to choose to remove advertising if we want to. I do have some concerns about it though. The pricing would have to be kept low, 
and there would need to be mechanisms to prevent unscrupulous companies exploiting the system to extract payments from people without actually providing any original content in return. My biggest concern though would be the monopoly aspect. If there was just one micropayment provider, possibly Google, they might have no incentive to keep prices competitive, but equally if there were dozens of micropayment providers we could end up in the same position we are now basically, as we'd have to make large payments to top up each of the different micropayment services with different providers, and that would really be a case of two steps forward, one step back I think. So that's something we'd have to be careful of. Love it or hate it, I think micropayments will be here soon and they'll be here to stay. What do you think about it? We'd love to hear your opinion on this issue, so feel free to drop us a comment over at searchwarp.com forward slash warp talk. Or if you've got a lot of thoughts on this issue, we'd love to see you write an article and express your views there. Thanks for listening. Thank you.